Many of you have probably already heard the news that Tom Messner has become so interested in my health pieces on First With Kids that he's decided to stop forecasting weather and apply to medical school. April Fool. And speaking of April Fool's Day, what a great time for me to talk about the importance of humor and your children. Humor is a great way for families to connect. It's fun for children, it's fun for parents, and allows everyone to not take life so seriously. And when kids have a sense of humor, some pretty special things happen. They're happier, they have better self-esteem, they get along better with their friends. It's also felt that when a child can laugh, they're gonna stay healthier, they're gonna be less sad, and they may even be more resistant to certain types of germs and infections. That being said, having a sense of humor is not something you're born with, it's something your child learns, and that's where all of you as parents, grandparents, can come in handy. For example, with a newborn baby, when you start making smiles and funny faces in front of the baby, the baby starts to sense the joy of those funny faces and will give those faces back to you. And that's how humor begins. As babies get older, they love the humor of peekaboo games or of surprise, like a surprise tickle. When toddlers get a little bit older, they love picture books, particularly funny picture books, like this one that has a dinosaur and a raincoat. And of course, school-aged children love humor that involves language, such as jokes, riddles, and my particular favorite, puns. And we can't forget adolescence, where for some reason, sarcasm and cynicism creep in. Most importantly, parents, you need to be playful so your children are playful. In fact, if your child tells a joke and it falls flat, still compliment your child on trying to tell that joke, but also set some ground rules, like just how much bathroom humor you're going to allow. And if a child tells a joke that you think can hurt someone's feelings, well, tell them so it doesn't reinforce that type of humor. Hopefully, tips like this will be far more than just a laughing matter when it comes to recognizing the importance of humor and your children. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital of Fletcher Allen asking you all the question, why do tigers hate clowns? Because they taste funny. And reminding you also to always be first with your kids.